Hello guys, I'm back trying to make uh, a video about our, our regular lessons on Friday, you know, I had to make that previous video, but like I say, it, it wasn't for y'all, it was for somebody that was stepping on my neck and on my toe, I just had to say ouch, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm going to learn to keep my feet out the way, because I know this person going to step on me. Because uh, me saying ouch, it's not going to change anything. You know, ouch does not make a liar stop lying. And I'm going to have to get over that. And that's, that's been one thing in my life that has always angered me. When people lie. And then when you lie on me. Ooh, I, I guess... Uh, that's what I got to learn how to do. It. Get over people lying on me. But you know, I had a past life regression. Oh, back in the eighty, no, two thousand and one. And and one past life, I was stoned for saying my truth. These people were lying on me, and they stoned me. And I never will forget that that past life, so, that, I gotta get over that, hey, hey, man, but anyway, I'm gonna re do more reading today, because I've been clearing my mind of all the junk and muck and mire that happened today, and, uh, you know, when you clear your mind, you have to let spirit give you what to say. At least for me, I can't just clear my mind and give uh, some kind of revelation to people. My mind is empty. And whatever spirit gives me is for me. And, you know, if this applies to somebody that's listening, well then, so be it. But all of this stuff I'm talking about, I'm, I'm working on me. And the healing comes in. From the words, and and that's what I I when I first started making videos, the doing these videos is a sounding board for me to reflect on myself because I used to be a, a minister in the Pentecost uh, Church of God in Christ. I was very young, but I was a minister and. I guess, you know, the word from the Spirit is still going to come to the minister or the preacher or the prophet. It's coming to him first. And the minister has to apply it to themselves. And it does. It it comes to for them. You know, you can't just go out and start screaming at people and, and you just, just as, the word is for you. So... First of all, this is for me, and I'm going to take it like it comes. This is what I have an inspiration to do for our lesson to this evening, tonight. It's like, what, 10 o'clock here, my time, in Texas. So, we're going to talk about, excuse me, holding my head like this because the sinuses, oh, they are so bad. It's just so much dust and stuff coming from these vents. But getting to the lesson, it's about will combines with desire. You know, we was talking about desires early, but now we find out the will has to combine with the desire. Okay, it says will is necessary to calm the mind. Yeah, my mind was raging today, man. Will is necessary to calm the mind. The quiet mind is able to use the will effectively. Slowly and gradually, we train ourselves for the great task that is before us. The pull must continue the pull to gain control hmm. knowingly willingly by choice and desire 
the pull to learn must go on. Inch by inch, we gain ground. We will begin to feel, experience, and gain real possessions which no one can take from us. The wealth that no one can take and the joy that no misery can harm are eternal. This is the permanent learning, the subconscious storehouse of wisdom, the complete understanding that we have made a part of our real self, which will last through eternity. This is the permanent soul memory. The uncontrolled mind is restless. That's the way I was today because my mind was not controlled. First, the conscious mind of the child becomes incessantly active in reaching out to gain new experiences through the senses. The mind learns to be constantly in motion. As we grow older, the mind becomes drunk with the wine of its own desires, thereby increasing its turbulence. Hmm. After desire takes possession of the mind, jealousy follows. For if your desires are limitless, then other people are sure to have possessions, abilities, wisdom, and experiences you do not. Hmm. Rather than exercise the will to earn through accomplishment what others have gained, we form jealousies. Now the demon of pride enters the turbulent mind, making it believe it is more important than others when it could be using willpower to make the self a better and wiser person. Wow, okay. Until you know what the mind is doing, you cannot control it. Until you know what the mind is doing, you cannot control it. Stated positively, we may say the will must be exercised and applied to steal the mind if we are able to control the action of the mind. Action of the mind, control the action of the mind, what the mind is doing, okay, what the mind is doing. Okay, let me explain something to myself, okay. I got this comment from this woman, and instead of me deleting it, I kept reading it over and over. Then I, I, Right, I, you know, uh, write a comment and then I delete it and start over and just, you know, playing with that ugly comment. And I should have just deleted it because that was enough to, oh man. And that was a trick. That was a trick and I fell for it, man. The mind learns to be constantly in motion, man. Rather than exercise the will to earn through accomplishment what others have gained, we form jealousies. Okay, I read that. Next, the demon of pride enters the turbulent mind, making it believe it is more important than others when it could be using willpower to make itself a better and wiser person. Okay, so... The demon of pride enters the turbulent mind, making it believe it's more important than others. Okay, so I played with that, and it wasn't so that I felt that I was had pride, anger. I want this pride and anger. I, I got angry, making making it believe it is more important than others when it could be using willpower to make the self a better person and wiser. So I should have I should have deleted that comment and started reading on concentrating on what we were going to learn tonight. Until you know what the mind is doing, you cannot control it. Oh man, how do you? Oh, so 
I didn't realize what my mind was doing. Oh, I got to remember when I started getting angry. That's when I'm not, my mind is not in control. Hmm. Because it's like when I get angry, this whatever this is, it festers and I think it's healed. And I go back and remember the accident. It's kind of like if you, oh, if you got an injury and you cut your finger real bad. And you had to have a bunch of stitches and you keep re-injuring it. And you go back to how you how it hurt you, and, and it it gets festered all over again. So, man, how do you keep from re-injuring yourself until you know what the mind is doing? You cannot control it. Stated positively, we may say the will must be exercised and applied to steal the mind if we are able to control the actions of the mind. So, I couldn't control the action of the mind. Because I couldn't control the words that I was typing. I mean, because I would type paragraphs and reread them. And I said, oh, that's not enough. And then I'd change it. And I, I played with replying to this this troll this morning. And I think it was like 9, 9.30 this morning. Because I, I usually... Um, catch the news on my laptop and these these uh, notifications come up and notify me that this troll from this certain person was on and left me a comment. But anyway, I played with that. It says, when the mind is still, we begin to know our thoughts. Knowing our thoughts is a prerequisite for knowing who is behind those thoughts. The who behind the thoughts is you. It is the beginning of self-awareness. First, you must learn to concentrate and focus your attention so the mind is brought under the control of you, the student. Your teacher will instruct you concerning this. Oh, so, okay, my mind was out of control. But I'm the one that's in, in control. So that made me be out of control. Man. Oh, man. It says, sit for 10 minutes and do nothing but observe your thoughts. So when when I get angry... I just have to sit for 10 minutes and observe my thoughts. 10 minutes and observe my thoughts. Your mind will be incessantly active, moving from one thought to another. You need to know what the mind is doing in order to control, direct, and focus it. Knowledge is power. Now give the mind the rein as you would in controlling a horse or other animal, for the mind is yours to use. You are preparing to use it effectively. Preparing to use it effectively. Hmm. Who you will find with each day's practice. Your thoughts become less and less violent, and your mind grows calmer and more directed. It's not like my thoughts are violent. I mean, <laughs> no, they. Uh, I, I get angry, but I don't want to hurt nobody. No, but I have. Ooh, I have had some. Yeah, man, I, I just be. Ooh, out of control, bad man. I almost caught charges two times, man. I mean, that's just how much anger I had. I guess since I've had all these surgeries and things, and that have calmed me down. Cause ooh, I used to fight in a minute. Oh man, and it's because somebody lied to me. 
Ugh. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Or it didn't matter. I, I, whew, I have the power to walk away. Back then, I didn't. I felt like I was just surrounded. And these people that were lying to me had a control over my life and my well-being and just all in my space, man. But now, I don't want anybody in my space doing that. Mm, thank God. Mm. Whew. Okay. Give up argumentation and other distraction. The only throw, these only throw the mind off balance, disturbing it. Disturbing it. The subtle planes of existence need to be realized. Throw away weakness. You are becoming stronger every day and freedom is reached by the strong. To succeed mentally, emotionally, and physically requires will. To succeed as enlightened being will require perseverance and willpower. Then I didn't know it's that hard, man. But I just never went to anger management. You know, when people do something wrong to you and you reacted and was ready to fight and solve it, you know, I, we just thought that's the way to do it. Man. We use will every time we walk, talk, think, work, or feel. The slightest movement of the muscle, as well as the act of thinking, requires will. A wish is an intention, a stronger desire expressed once or twice through action to accomplish a certain goal. Let me read that again. A wish is often followed by inconstantly activity. An intention is a stronger desire expressed once or twice through action to accomplish a certain goal. This intention is often discouraged after one or several unsuccessful attempts. Hmm. The willpower is a series of unceasing and continuous determined actions accomplished by a purposeful desire until the ideal is achieved. Man. Freedom accelerates evolution. Compulsion does not. Compulsion. Oh, I, yeah, I, I was acting on compulsion today. I'm angry, so I got to do this. Both physical and mental needs are fulfilled by the development of the will. Use of the will does not require mental or physical strain. These scientific techniques for development of the will strengthens your will power. Okay, I'm gonna stop on that because I, this is this is enough for me to this digest. My plate is full. Now I'm coming up on 18 minutes. We're gonna go back on this next week because this is, and I'll tell you how I'm, how my how I did uh, next week every day because I, I, I got to and heal myself, man. But it's so funny when 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 you're angry about something. For me, when I get angry, I have not learned how to not say anything. I mean, you know, my mother was this passive person. And to me, she was weak. My sister is like that. And that's not my personality. I, and what do you do when... Wow. I <laughs> Oh, I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. Hell, I'm, yeah, I'm going on 66 years old. And I still... I ain't going to fight, but I got plenty of guns around here. God, dog. That's good I don't have a... Uh, permit because oh no 
And my kids are like that too. They daddy was like that. Mm, bless us, Lord Jesus. <laughs> anyway, guys, that, that was a good lesson for me. And I suppose you should say in the, in the church when they got through testifying, they say, pray my strength in the Lord. So <laughs> I do some, need some uh, strength. And we'll continue to pray for each other because I know. Oh, man, I have a lot of things. I Well, not a lot of things, but I got a hard thing. One hard thing, and it's my anger when people lie on me. And uh, that is, that is, I think that's what I came here to learn to get over. Wow, I, that's, and that's a big thing. I'm going to work on it, and I'll tell you how I did. Next Friday, I'll come back and let y'all give y'all a progress report. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys next Friday. Have a good weekend.